Recording is on. Did I do? Uh, I didn't want to do that. I want to go back to that. Okay. So, um, and I was, you know, going back to try to see when um, the Five of Hearts became, and you know, with going over stuff with what we've been going over with Pluto a lot has been making me, I don't know if you guys have been looking at the cards differently, because now I do, I look at the cards differently. I look at the Pluto um, position, condition, the condition, position a lot. So I found that at 58, the five of hearts was in Pluto. And that was 2014, guys. And um, in 2014 is when Ebola broke out. Wow, isn't that something? So I guess there's some kind of tie um, with Ebola. Somebody got something to say? It's with the Ebola and um, moving forward. I haven't figured that out yet. But in 2014 is when the Five of Hearts um, was in Pluto. So we know that Pluto, when something, when Pluto hits something, it changes it forever. So clearly um, from 2014 on is when I guess I got empowered, you know, with the, with, well, not I guess, but I did, I got, empo I got empowered because the anxiety and things just hit differently. You know what I mean? So still get anxiety, but it will, I learned to lean into the anxiety. And I definitely know I can um, attribute that to um, Pluto. So when the Five of Hearts hits Pluto, we know that was in 2014, right? So from 2014 to now, the Five of Hearts has had um, a What's it, a trajectory? Is that a trajectory? Y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? I shouldn't try to say big words that I'm not good at pronouncing. I just love big words, guys. So it had that, it, it, was, it was going somewhere. <laughs> so um, when we get to, um, so that was at 2014, right? So in 20, where did it, in 2014, so it would have been 15, 16, 17, 18. In 2018, the five of hearts was in the sun. So I don't know what was going on in 2018, but the five of hearts was sitting in the sun. So that meant, that was a lot. That was a, that, that really meant that there was, um, you know, a lot going on in this country. And I think we can look back at that um, one of these days, another when we get a chance to really go into it. But last year in 2013, the Five of Hearts finally made it to Jupiter, Jupiter. So we know that when something is in Pluto, Pluto is, 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 um, is, when you think about, for me, I think about it now, just look at the school system, just look at the government, look at things that, that are, um, that over the time of COVID that were um, hit with, um, they say it's COVID, but when we look at it, we look at those structures and see that those structures were hit, especially schools, because schools closed down. And that's the first time in my life I've seen schools go through what they went through. And I certainly attribute it to Pluto because it's a five, it, Pluto was um, working with the Five of Hearts. And who mostly in school these days, you could probably say that you, I would probably say that 80% of the children in school, because I worked in the schools, have some sort of special needs. So I, you could see that. And it's probably not a special needs, it's just probably how things, the, how things um, are. And, you know, people just learn how to go through school and exist and go through school and graduate. And, you know, do all of those good things. I couldn't do that. School was rough for me. I literally, I hated school so bad. I really did. I, school was just not, you know, the, the restrictions of school and um, learning, you know, different things was hard on me. And because of my mom I, and her creativity, you know, back then in the day, we had home economics, so that would make you want to go to school because you had home ec that day, and that was really good times, and you know, but school really for me was, it just wasn't my favorite. So when you look at the structures that are, are um, 
um, falling, well, I wouldn't say falling, but the structures that have been changed since we see COVID hit, um, it's never going to be the same again with the five of hearts. And it's definitely never going to be the same with um, children because children, I believe children went home because my grandchildren went home. Um, three of them out of four wanted to go back to school or socialize. And then the other one said he wanted to go back to school, socialize. He didn't want to go back to school to socialize, but he said, in, at least in school, he's in high school, he said he had the structure. So he couldn't appreciate going back to school. Um, so that was just amazing to me because they really didn't want to be locked in the house. So, but I'm pretty sure that there were some children that were very happy that they didn't have to go back to school because school, I, like I said, I worked in the school and school is extremely stressful on the average day. So can you imagine if you had things going on, you know, homelessness and family issues and, you know, you, you don't even have to have learning disabilities for school just to be a really hard place for you, you know, as a child. You know, it's just not a fun place to go to. You know, I see children, I've seen children over my career just sit and I know it just would break my heart. I would just watch them. It's because they're, they're, they're just so, so lost, so broken, trying to figure out, you know, navigate their life and not wanting to be seen because it's like they feel like people see, people know what I'm going through. And that's a lot. That's a big burden for a child. So I see with the five of hearts sitting in Jupiter, that that expansion of people having those conversations, people thinking about how school should be done. You know, I still you know people who work in the school system and it's pretty, you know, it's 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 a um pretty bad right now because they're trying to figure out what what to do, you know, as far as teaching and social distancing and all of that kind of stuff. So that's adding more stress on to um, kids that don't have any choice but to go to school. But I think kids that don't have to go to school are not, I find, you know, when I talk to people that when they, their children are being homeschooled and that's a blessing. So when we look at the five of hearts, we, the five of hearts is because it's a, um, but you know, you always start with a five. You always start with, you know, um, what it is and what fives represent. And fives are um, um, about communication. You know, they're really here to live, and they love socializing. You know, they are here. Fives are not people who want to sit down and just, you know, I don't want to sit down and just, you tell me what I need to do. That's not what they do. They're adventurous. They, they love exploring. They want to see the world. And you think about that with a child going to school and it's like, okay, you know, good morning, sit down. That just, you know what I mean? It just doesn't add up for these kids. So their whole life is just of trauma. So when we think about where we are now um, in the four heart in the in the four hearts year, because the four hearts require structure. It just does. It's a four, and you can't get around that. It's gonna be structure one way or another. So when we mix the five of hearts in there, we're looking at going into um, we're looking at being in a four of hearts decade for 10 years and next year the five of hearts. So with it being in Jupiter this year and Pluto hitting it, what does that mean? What does that mean when January 1st gets here? You know what I mean? What is it going to mean for all of us? What is going to happen? You know, where, you know, how is that energy going to hit? Because we know it's a marker. We know that everything that has happened from 2014 with the Five of Hearts as it has traveled um, to get to Jupiter, Jupiter. And for me, it's not by no strange coincidence that the year that it's in Jupiter, Jupiter, the next very year is a five of hearts year. It's like this stuff is lining up. The universe is not playing. It's lining up perfectly. So when you think about over the last um, year, even if you could just think about last year um, in your life and in your family, um, what were the things that were going on? You know, what what was really going on? You know, because we had so much around um, 
COVID and, you know, people worrying about everything family, you know, but, as, you know, how many people really had a chance to pay attention to their children? How many people really had a chance to sit down and um, have those tough conversations with their children about where they're going to be going and how, you know, it's going to look for them, you know, because that's a lot of stress within itself that you, you know, you don't want to, um, you know, go back to school. And then now you have to go back to school. So um, how do you guys feel about the energy around us now? Can I come in? Yes. Okay. We're in a four of hearts year. And yes, we are going into a five of hearts year um, next year. And with Pluto being there, um, you know, five is um, it's changes, adjustments, and things like that. Pluto is Pluto is asking us to heal in a certain way. Um, when we are not healing, it, what it wants us to do is heal our family stuff. And I'm not just talking about individual families, I'm talking about world family, because Pluto is, is collective, it's, it's the whole world, you know? And if that stuff has not been healed, brought to the light and transmuted, um, you're going to see a major, major shakeup and things will not be the same because when you have a planet, when you have a car in Pluto in that crown line position, you also have the Pluto, the, uh, the, the um, Pluto is a higher echelon of Mars. So it's, it's telling us you guys need to take action to make a transformation, to make the world a better place, a better place in your, it starts individually. So it can happen in, it, sh it should start in your individual homes with your individual self and things like that. If those things are not transmuted because Pluto gives you an opportunity to make those changes. Um, and, if, if, and if those changes are not made, um, you're gonna see the low end of what Pluto, five of hearts Pluto can be. And to me, you don't wait till you get to Pluto to make the changes. You should be making those changes all alone. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to say it's too late to make the changes, but some changes need to, a major transformation needs to occur. That's my take. Yeah, totally. Anybody else? I like to say that with the five of hearts being in Pluto, um, it's definitely going to be a lot of self-expression. If you're saying it's a five of hearts year, it's going to be um, more of that fire spirit coming out. So on the low side, you can expect literal fires um, and fights and um, disagreements in that regard. But also on the high side, you, um, you know, you can see more of that passion burning within being expressed in more creative ways. People taking more initiative and charge and sedating themselves and uh, living their true lives. So we'll, uh, and, and on, I guess on a neutral side, it's, it'll be more ascension. And you can take that however, you know, you, you may. But um, definitely it's a lot of mercurial energy um, mixed with uh, the Plutonian aspect. So a lot of awakening um, I, I definitely see going forth. And to speak on the, the education system, I think a lot of children are going to uh, be tapped in more into their, their psyche, their um, tapped more into their psychic abilities. So I think the healing aspect, if that's, you know, a topic, it would be more so like passing it to, not passing it, but just awakening the gifts within like the, the upcoming generation. Mm -hmm. Do you think it could be... Um to speak more on the healing stuff, especially because, you know, uh, they've talked about how CBD would be, you know, a billion dollar industry by 2021, 2022. So maybe there'll be more um, focus on holistic healing back to, you know, nature mm -hmm. and herbs and, you know, you find more people grounding and, you know, it's, be it's almost becoming where before it was almost hidden or not brought to the light. More people are speaking of it, using it more, I think I on the high side. 
we will, I think, go back to that, the natural, more natural ways of treating things as well. Because people are seeing that, you know, the, the CDC and mainstream medical is a joke. Yeah, I agree. I, and I've been saying that more and more um, this year. And I say healers are the new trappers, but that's not true because healers are the OG trappers. But, um, you know, as far as having the medicine already in the house and having these natural remedies, that's what has been the foundation for this year. And people have been seeing like, oh, snap, I can't really trust, you know, these vaccines or whatever they're trying to push. So people have been making their way back to us. And with it being the five of hearts, a lot of focus is going to be on purifying the blood. But, um, you know, that's also tying into the ascension that's, that's coming and the sun and all this energy that's circulating. So, Yeah, that's real. That's real interesting. Um, you know, if we, you know, I don't, I don't want to go back too far, but if we go back to the three of hearts decade and we look at all of the things that transpired over those 10 years, you know, we can see it mirrors everything about the three of hearts because the three of hearts is the first card on the grand soul squares. And it's the card that stepped out. It was curious, it was inquisitive, and it left the one. Because when we look on the pure spread, the ace of hearts is the card that, sat, that sits there in what they call um, the garden and, you know, and Eden and everything. So when we think about the ace of hearts sitting there, we think about everything was perfect. And it makes perfect sense in the three of hearts here because the three of hearts here transitioned from the ace of hearts to the three of hearts. And the three of hearts wanted to be free. And when we look at the three of hearts decade, it was about freedom. It was about sexual expression. It was about people wanting to just do the, anything that they wanted to do. And um, we saw that, you know, over the 10 years, how that built and how now it has folded in to uh, how do, in a decade it folded into being, you know, where it, it, it evolved, you know, so people have different ideas and different thoughts and stuff around it, but it's definitely not as strict, you know, as it was how you would say in the two of hearts decade, you know, where people were definitely, excuse me, not, you know, trying to understand all of that. But when we look at the four hearts here, we look at all of that, and that's the, the, the beauty of cardiology is because we look at all of that three energy. But when we got to January the 1st, the four hearts says no. The four hearts, the four hearts literally said no. I see all of your, what y'all have done, but now we got to get structure. And that's what knocked people off of their axis, the structure of it all. Because you went from a time of just, just you know, freedom, you know, you know, even if it wasn't really freedom, but it was freedom that people talked about all the time. And the Four Hearts is never going to allow that. There has to be structure when you look at um, how you do things um, when you get to the four energy. So we saw what happened. And then when we see traveling through the life path of the four hearts, we got a chance to see it in this year. So when we saw when we see it in this year, we saw how things started off. But if you if you paid attention to how you were feeling, stuff started slowing down. And that's when we got to those sixes and it started slowing down and it wasn't as much, you know, it wasn't as much um, the energy shifted. So when we get a chance, to, when we look at that, we can look at the four hearts decade and to see how the energy is going to shift over time. And, you know, pinpoint it around what year and stuff like that. But the five of hearts year is totally going to be what January 1st was, because this is the first year in the decade. You know what I mean? We're coming out of it. So the five of hearts year is going to be, you know, five, five of hearts wants to express themselves. They want more freedom. You know, it's sociable. It's all of those things that have to be um, folded into the four. And the four is still trying to deal with the three. That's the whole issue here is the four of hearts is still trying to deal with the three of hearts decade. And that, that, um, 
push of that, you know, you just imagine you're in your home and you're you're regulating things. That's what the four hearts is doing. It's rec- regulating all of the things that happened and transpired over a decade. So when we hit the five of hearts um, on, um, you know, January, it's a it's it's a it's a good energy. It's a freeing energy. But the five of hearts is an inside energy. Five of hearts are for me. They are totally um, the higher octave of us. And I believe somewhere along the line, they um, got marginalized for whatever reasons, karma, I don't know. But the five of, heart, five of hearts to me is a higher octave of us because the five of hearts looks at things and then it goes within. And that's pretty dope to you for you to know that whatever is happening outside, you have to go within to deal with it. That makes you a higher being to me. You know what I mean? It makes you see that the outside world is going to hurt me. But if I go within, I can find the answers. You know what I mean? While I'm inside doing what I need to do, especially if you have spiritual practices and you've been taught spiritual practices, you slow it down. So in looking at a five of hearts year and things happening and you pulling back and, you know, you know, kind of get the feel of it is gonna help you to integrate it into the four hearts. You know what I mean? Because the four hearts is saying you need structure. You need structure. Sure, you wanna be free, but you have to be free within structure. Sure, you want to get out there and you know do all the things that you that the five of hearts is gonna to want to do, but the four of hearts is always gonna be standing there and saying, we gotta structure this. We have to we have to structure this. So you're looking at a decade of structure. You know what I mean? How do we make this work? Because we have to make it work. That's the bottom line. The four hearts it literally represents the home, the family. That's that's what fours are. That's that's the desire of a four. There's a the desire of a four is to um have the structure of home, you know, to be good at home, you know on the high side. On the low side, yeah, of course, it can be um, a little um, not so good because of the, the, the boredom that may come about, or not when to say boredom, but, you know, just, the, the, just the, the mundaneness of it. But the four hearts, um, the four, a four person and the four hearts likes the structure. They like the, um, you know, taking care of the home and um, making sure that everything is good and all of that good stuff. The five of hearts, not so much. And even the three of hearts, not so much. So you have the four of hearts that's really sheltering and, well, sh- shouldering all of this. You know, this is what the four of hearts is shouldering for us. And it's uh, it's like, how do you blend them together? How do you make it work kind of mentality that we're going to have going forward? Because we don't have no choice. We literally don't have no choice. We've seen what the three of hearts looked like. I don't want to live through that again. I don't. I do not want to live through the three of hearts because it was all over the place. Everything was all, I want this, that person wants that. And those groups all scattered and they couldn't come together on. And I would think it made sense to me. I'm like, you're gay. I was like, that's it. No, that's not it. It's like, no, I'm this, but I'm that. I'm that, but I'm this. And you couldn't come together with it because it was three energy. You know what I mean? It's like, see me. No, see me. You know, they see me. No, I'm over here. So when we got to the four hearts, the four hearts said, since you couldn't do it, now we're going to do it. We're going to structure this. So we're going to look at a decade of how do we structure and how does everybody get, you know, how does everybody get blended in? How does it work for everybody? And that means the collective that gets it, you know what I mean? A collective that understand that we're doing this for the um the greater good before it gets done for us. You know, we've had every transit that there possibly is, and they're not done with us yet. You know what I mean? So you get a chance to um, kind of, um, you know, do it, um, do it as much as you possibly can within the confines of your house. Can I piggyback on a, um, a question you just asked? Uh-huh. You said, how do we blend it all together? Uh-huh. And, okay. 
So we got a four hearts year and a four hearts decade. Then next year we're going into um, the five of hearts. Mm -hmm. The way we blend it all together, if you do the composite card between the four hearts and the five of hearts is we've got to let it go. Yeah. We've got to let go of everything we think we know. It's mm -hmm. completed. Yeah, for sure. And we got to start anew. We got to mm -hmm. redefine what our future steps are going to be. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think that's how that's how we that's how you blend it together. And get out because, your feelings, right? Because it's a nine of hearts. Well, yeah. I mean, you got to get out of your feelings, but you got to be more logical. You got to be cautiously optimistic about the direction you're going in with yeah. that Saturn, you know, because it's a nine of hearts. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And yeah. So, yeah, I think it's just about everything that we built <clears throat> all the way from the ace of hearts decade all the way up to the four hearts uh, is now completed and this is what and this is why you see the chaos and the dismantling and the confusion and the crisis mm -hmm. because things are about to change oh yeah and if you don't let it go you're going to be a victim of that change right because saturn is not about feelings mm -hmm. yeah. right. but he neither is pluto neither is pluto and 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 we are definitely dealing with a lot of plutonian energy you know what I mean? It's like the, st the structures have to be dismantled. You know, there's no way around it. It's because when we talked before, Darren says that when the school system, that's when um, societies collapse, right? When you're, it, 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 it's, if, you, if you read anything in history, when your government mm -hmm. systems fail, when your school systems fail, when your political systems fail, that is, that is the, that's the down. That's all these things happen before the downfall of a great nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, we have some definitely, you know, it's about conversations and and the um, nation rebirthing. The nation's become a rebirth because doesn't yes. the nine of hearts pick the switch with the ace of hearts to like don't they switch back and forth? The seven of no, diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a build up to the ten of hearts, right? Because it's a decade, so we're the four is the foundation, right? And mm -hmm. then the each decade is a build up to the, the ten of hearts, right? Yeah. Okay. You said so the that means word. it's a it is a perfect time for people to start businesses and like really oh, go yeah. for what they wish for to next year. Oh yeah. Right? millionaire time yeah totally definitely because it's building time You're absolutely right you get in with that energy right because the energy is building so you line yourself up with the direction that the energy is going in absolutely absolutely yeah, I, you know was, what i like the word that walking, she used build i up. like i'm sorry no, go ahead go ahead darren go ahead. i was just gonna say i like the word was was that um Joy to say that joy, 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 Zora. Right. Zora. Oh, Zora. Zora. Yeah, Zora. That, that, I like the word that she used with Pluto. She said rebirth, and that is what's happening. So it's a rebirth. So you, I mean, you're hearing it. You're hearing it. I know a lot of people on the call probably don't watch TV or pay attention to, to the news or anything like that. But they're telling you nothing's going to be the same. There's no such thing as normal, normal. No, no, there's nothing. You know? nothing. So, when, so when she said rebirth, it resonated with me. And when we look at the four energy, we look at the four hearts. It's one thing about the four hearts is the four hearts does very good under pressure. So that's the thing about this where we where we are in moving through the four hearts decade because they work well under pressure. You know, they are very good organizers. Um, they, their family definitely is first. Everything that they do is for the protection of the family. So when we look at where we are um, as um, society, then we, you know, you want to start, especially with your unit, but we have to take it out into the workplace and into everything else, because that's where, that's, that's what family is going to be about now. It's not going to be um, that that limited view of family, because if you're building, you want to build from a place um, of longevity, definitely, and you want to build from a, a good structure. And um, you know, the four hearts is about restoring, restore, restoring the harmony. You know, and it's 
very creative in, in, in the ways that it's done. So we definitely have good energy on the high side, you know, as you know, it's always a low side, but on the high side, we have an energy that is loving. And it, you know, when you think about the home, it's, that's where it starts. When you think about the four hearts, you think about the home and all of the structures that you need to, you know, you get the resistance because if you don't want structure, of course you're going to resist. But to know that you have to have structure, that's the bottom line. There's no way around it because without structure is chaos. So for you to have someone as free loving as the five of hearts, you have to figure out, we have to figure out a way to have structure for um, that free energy. We have to figure it out. You know, it's the five, you know, the five of, um, the five of hearts, you know, you can be free and still, um, you know, learn how to um, use that energy. You know, you don't have to like routine, but you know, you have to learn to be creative with it. You know, five love stimulation, you know, so you have to, you know, figure out, you know, natural ways and, and ways to stimulate and, you know, yourself first, you know, cause it's gonna affect all of us. But, you know, we can't go into um, controlled substances and alcohol and all of the things that can on the low side of the five or any five, but, you know, any five, the low side is um, over abuse of things. So, yeah, we have um, the energy. We just have to learn learn how to use it because these children are going to, these children got hit by Pluto. The five of hearts got hit by Pluto. So they're not going to cooperate. They just not, you know what I mean? Cause you know the little knuckleheads, I, damn, I just call my grandkids knuckleheads. Cause trust, <laughs> trust me, I do call them worse. <laughs> I generally call them savages. The little savages in here have overthrown the regime. <laughs> they are. I'm telling you, these kids are a new breed. They're a new breed. It is like they, they <laughs> are. They are. <laughs> They are conscientious objectors to everything. You know everything. what I mean? <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. You know what I mean? You literally have to go to the drawing board. Me, I watch, I watch my grandkids because they be playing me like a fiddle. But they don't know I know they playing me like a fiddle. I'm just like, I've surrendered. I'm like, I'm the grandmother. I'm not the mother. That, that's like I say, it's not my monkeys, not my circus. But and I, they're very rebellious right now too. Like, oh, so yeah. like they'll do anything to get from under your thumb. Oh right yeah, now. yes. And then that's kind of leading up to the ten of hearts, right? Because that's an eight of spades in Venus. That's which a long way down control. the line. Now. We gotta get through the <laughs> five of hearts first. <laughs> yeah, that's a right? decade. <laughs> we gotta get through now because for me, I for me January first is the beginning. It really is. It's where we're going to get a taste of it. You know, right now it's like building in a, to a crescendo to a point. And then on January the 1st, we get to see the first wave. You know what I mean? It's like we've got from 2014 to 2020. That was the rise of the five of hearts, right? They went through all of the, you know, there's a six year window when you're in Pluto. When you're in Pluto, there's a six year window for you to get to Jupiter, Jupiter. So they've gotten to Jupiter, Jupiter. And now January 1st is like, okay, now, you know, that's the marker of, you know, your fortune. Because after Jupiter, Jupiter is where you really do the work. Because if you have a master fortune, now you have to work to keep that fortune, right? We have to work to build that fortune. So getting to Jupiter, Jupiter is not the, um, that's not the ending. That's the beginning. So January the 1st for me is when it gets real. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody? Yes. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. (laughs) You know what? That makes perfect sense that the children are being transformed at this particular time. Mm -hmm. Because in the Bible, I can't remember what verse it is, but it said in the times, you know, in the the end times or the times of trouble, a child shall lead them. Mm -hmm. So so Mm -hmm. maybe the shakeup 
that's happening with the five of hearts with the children is because they are going to be able to lead us. They're going to be right. able to offer us something to help us um, evolve in society. We got to right. listen mm. to the children. It, right. To me, it says listen to the children. Right. They hold the answers because this is going to be their world eventually. Yeah, totally. Exactly. And it's my world now, but I inherited the world from my parents. You know what I mean? That wasn't the mm -hmm. best, you know? So yeah, that does make perfect sense. It's like, now we just got to crack it, break it and throw it away. They don't want to inherit this. And I don't blame them. I really don't blame them. I wouldn't want to inherit either because I got through by the hair of my chinny chin chin. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The fact that I'm still here is because I'm supposed to be here, but I have the scars and everything to prove it. But these kids mm -hmm. now, these kids take a licking and keep on ticking. You know what I mean? They really, they're so resilient. They're, I mean, they are, you know, working in social services for um, the last 30 years, I've seen um, the, you know, where things, to me were adversities and painful and stuff to so these children. Now they have developed in, I don't know, they have developed, I don't know if it's a strong skin or if it's normal or, or, or whatever you, but they're very resilient and they will come for you. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. It's really um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be empowering. And we all have a fire heart somewhere, mm -hmm. right? Even if it's not in our spread, when we go to like the next year and, you know, our birth spread or whatever, yeah, we, you know, we, we eventually do get to experience that five of hearts. Yeah. And then in your cards, you, you do your cards, it will be a combination card. It can be a hidden fact. Oh, that's true. That's so true. many. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It can be so many ways that cards are affecting you. Just like with, um, just like with, um, something happened. Oh, um, the, um, three of spades. I had a, I have a three of spades and I looked up, you know, I was like, why am I feeling, you know, I thought I was feeling anxious and I said, I'm not feeling anxious. And I said, I need to sit with it because I have a queen of spades and Mercury. So I said, I need to sit with this because there's something this three of spades is trying to tell me because that's a new thing. I just went into Mercury. So I said, the three of spades, I know the queen of spades, but the three of spades is trying to tell me something. And I sat with it since my birthday. You know, I talked to Darren about it um, a couple of times and, you know, he kicked, you know, reassured me. And I was sitting and I said, insecure. I said, wow. I said, that's a big word. I said, there is some trepidation. You're insecure about something. So I put in insecure. It's a three of spades. I said, well, shut the door and the window. You can't make it up. I said, really? I said, this energy that I was feeling, and it just gave me such a newfound appreciation for the three of spades. You know? So there is hidden stuff with... Um, things that, um, you know, comes up and, you know, me and Darren put the, every card in there, right, Darren? We know the card for everything. And it's oh, so yeah. funny because yesterday, didn't it quit? What did she say yesterday about the time, you know, or something she was saying? I said, I never thought about that. Now, that's another thing <laughs> to look at, <laughs> the time and stuff like that. But it's just, I just feel like we're in such... Um, you know, time, we get a chance to, um, you know, explore. Summit, you're a four heart, so what are you thinking about? Are you there? Yes, I am here. And I, you know, you hit on a lot of things that I have been going through, basically. And, you know, I was just thinking uh, in my own world, when you say, like, January 1st, it's going to really hit. How, how do we, do we start another grid, another solar spread for that? Or are we still looking at it from the United States chart? Right. Do, yeah. The United States is from July to July. So okay. Yeah. 
so then the the turn of the new year because mm -hmm. i am hearing a lot of people say we're not going to recognize this country come january 1st i believe it i totally i believe it i believe that the election is is that it's not going to be resolved for all time and what i saw in the cards is i've been looking at the three of diamonds and what i saw in the cards is that the three of diamonds is not um, and that would be Donald Trump. He does not care about the presidency at all, that the Three of Diamonds cares about their legacy. You know, they are very proud. And I see him fighting for his legacy because he realizes this is something that is going to be from for time immemorial that people will associate with his family. And I see that, you know, when I look at the cars, I see war. I see war with the three of diamonds and um, I'm like, you know, I've been sitting with it for a while. And I said, this man is, is, um, he, this man is looking at his legacy, you know, and um, that makes perfect sense to me. Who wants to go down as being the orange president and all of the things that they say. So yeah, I think that this, we not, we're going to see a total change. And I looked at after the election, the week after the election, and I see so much money. I've never seen so much money in my life. So the Jack of Hearts, because we had a lot of Saturn, that means that the Jack of Hearts um, in him has been hit. And um, he is, and he is going to use it to change um, how people perceive him. And how do you change people in this country? By giving them everything that they want plus. And I think that's going to be his. That's going to be his change, whether or not C Congress and all of those people do it. I think that's what he's going to try to do to fix, you know, anything going forward about his legacy. I don't know if he's going to be president. I don't know if Biden. I can't. I honestly don't even know if we're going to have a president. I can't even. I don't even see see that in any way, shape, or form. Because if any anything happened, either one of them. Who would be surprised? They're, they're up there in, in age. Biden has been sick for a long time. He hides it very well, but it's never been a secret that he's been sick. You know, well, illnesses over his lifetime, not lifetime, but in his um old his um later years. And look at Trump. You can see it wearing on him. You can see that he's not in the best of health, you know, when you look at him. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. I do not think we're going to see this country um, the way it was, which is a good thing. You know, it's going to be, I see a, a transformation um, and how it's going to play out is where you at. Because people still are going to be grateful and ungrateful all at the same time. You can't, you cannot get away from that. So yeah, I agree with you. I totally agree that that things are going to um, be interesting. And how do you affect them the most if it's not through a monetary value? Yeah. Truly. I mean, people go through so much loss and, you know, they, they have to make changes and adjustments. But when, you know, money has a play in that, I, I think, you know, you perk up everybody's ears. Yeah. They're waiting. Do. They're waiting for their share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I believe he's they're gonna do that 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 um monthly stem that monthly money. I believe yeah. that. I know that it's gonna change the currency. I'm pretty sure cryptocurrency and different things will be talked about and mm -hmm. um implemented because they don't want to print money. But yeah, I think it's gonna be sweet. You know, when you look at the the week after, if you can look at the weekly spread after um the election, it's it's amazing. I mean, it's amazing. It really is. I'm like, wow. I'm like, this is pretty. He said in the day after the election is a five of diamonds. Makes sense. He said after the election, um, we'll, um, you know, we, that's when we'll be visiting um, the stimulus. And I totally see it in the cards, you know. So we'll see how, how you know, it's going to play out. But I think from him now, it's about me fixing my legacy. You know what I mean? Okay. And, you know, whether he could do it or not, I don't know. That's everything. Like I say, when I look at the cars now, it's like it's you just got to get some popcorn. Right, Gina? Yeah. And and what, what are we coming into? Is this the Eight of Diamonds week now? 
What's the know. last? What's three the last spades. We'll be in three spades week. No, oh, three, three spades spade week. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I thought mm -hmm. we were looking at, I must have looked at the wrong thing that my chart, but well, a three of spades week. So that's Nina, kind of or, miss, uh, This is the week that we have the um, all those nines, right? Um, the week that we have all of the nines is this week coming up, right? Um, let me look and see. Let me pull that up. And While she's all, pulling makes... that up, oh, go ahead. and especially now speaking about those nines, what do you guys think about the um, the twenty fifth amendment that they're putting on the table because of how he's doing and where he is and stuff like that? Well, I think Pelosi's doing that for Biden, right? If Biden gets in, um, you know, I think she's got it already set. He's not going to be able to do too well in his mental capacity, so they'll be putting Kamala in there. <laughs> is that for Kamala, or, is that, or do you think that is for um, Trump? Well, I think she's looking at Trump in, in her way, but, you know, I don't know how much she can get done in the next few weeks, but, you know, we've, we, we've seen what she can do. But I think she's putting that in in some way for people, you know, just in case something goes her way, she'll... You know, it'll all be set up that he's deemed that he can't handle it, you know, by consensus. So now we go to the vice president. And, you know, maybe if something's even maybe she's even thinking so much down the road, if no, nothing gets accomplished, she's next in line. OK, I'm going to stop this recording right here, guys, because I'm going to stop this recording because I'm going to start it over again.